update. Unite Nigeria. Release Nam Dikano. Prophet Iginla writes open letter to Tinobu after swearing him. Welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning into this channel. Please listen to the end. The news details. Prophet Joshua Iginla of the Champions Royal Assembly has written an open letter to President Bola Tinobu following his inauguration. Iginla asked Tinobu to unite Nigerians and solve the major socio-economic, religious and ethnic problems confronting the country as a father of the nation. He urged the newly sworn in president to forgive the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekano, urging Tinobu to address the loopholes of the immediate past administration of ex president Muhammad Buhari. Iginla said the president should learn and address Nigerians' crisis far better. The open letter reads below. Of the truth, according to Daniel 2 verse 21, it is God who controls the course of the world events. He removes king and sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. On this note, I heartily congratulate your excellency for emerging victorious in the most keenly contested presidential election since the return to democracy in Nigeria. Your emergence is a defined mandate ordained by God as revealed to me by God several times and which is all over the public domain. As you take charge of steering the destiny of the nation in these challenging times in various phases of lives of Nigerians, may God Almighty endow you with all the necessary tools, good health and wisdom to enable you to lead the nation into greatness in all ramifications. His Excellency Sir, I write this open letter to you, not only as a prophet of God, but as an authority who has a degree in political science and a master's in international law and diplomacy to be objectively ready to tackle Nigeria's greatest challenge of insecurity, widespread corruption, and a general sense of dissatisfaction among citizens, and as well meets the expectation of the people. I call on you to tackle the problem by unifying the country and solving major social, economic, religious, and ethnic problems confronting the country as a father of the nation. I want to remind you that Nigeria is a heterogeneous country battling crises of insecurity, kidnapping, and extreme poverty. Since no one will expect you to tackle all crises at once, Nigerians will be expecting you to dedicate your administration to genuine renewal work, at least to let Nigerians see and feel the difference, however little. It is an open secret that Nigerians are yearning for good governance, as past administrations have left an open sore in the hearts of the citizens. His Excellency, sir, I'm very sure you are aware of the loopholes of this past administration, which I believe should be your target. Also, I want to plead on behalf of Nigerians, and that is you should do anything in your capacity to end the insecurity that is ravaging our country. His Excellency, 
I salute your capacity to put up with criticism from religious leaders. However, I hold you to exercise patience, wisdom, and tolerance with religious leaders, be they pastors or imams, and treat them with respect. Furthermore, as a barrier breaker and a line crosser, I beseech you to implement your objective, which is to foster a new society based on shared prosperity, tolerance, compassion, and the unwavering commitment to treating each citizen with equal respect and regard. His Excellency, sir, as a prophetic voice to the nation, who stood out as a lone voice of truth in the wilderness to declare your emergence as revealed by God since 2021. I will stand as a watchman to ensure you don't derail in your God's given assignment. And if you do, I will not hesitate to pen you an open letter like this to guide, correct, and rebuke if necessary. A prophet again has written an open letter to Tinobu asking him that it should release Namdi Kano because the, prof the previous administration has detained Namdi Kano in the DSS unit. So he urged um, the newly sworn in president to forgive the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Namdi Kano. And he should just allow Namdi Kano to go because the previous um, administration has held him down for two years. And this man, they've been saying he needs medical attention. But the previous administration has not done anything about it. They did not allow him to go for his medical medical attention and medical checkup. So this new administration, Tinobu administration, should please forgive Unamdi Kano and release him from the detention of the DSS. They should let him go because this man is not a terrorist. And they should um Barry should send that justice to the he should send that mercy. And allow um, Namdi Kano to be released, allowing him to go. That is begging on behalf of the IPOB, on behalf of the indigenous people of Biafra, that they should please let Namdi Kano go because he has been unjustly detained. And the Gilad also talked about the loopholes of the immediate past administration that Tinubu is aware and he should make sure that it touch every of these loopholes, even if it's not at once, because he cannot do everything at once. He should just make sure there's a little, Nigeria see a little difference from the past administration. What's your view about this news? Please share your view in the comment section. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. Thank you.